right, so this is one of those days where I needed to get a swap deck card. The night before, I had found one, but I thought this lady was ripping me off because of what she was asking to charge me. Turns out I was wrong. She wasn't trying to rip me off at all. So I decided I was going to head towards Florida again to try and find where I was. Starting with my breakfast here. Usual stuff. Delving into the newspaper. Internet y el hombre creativo. You got to start with a selfie. Establish that I was actually there. Going for my walk. And I am. <laughs> so now I'm on my way and I'm heading towards Florida. I know the direction to head in. I'm not sure what street I'm in, but I knew that I was headed in the correct direction to reach Florida. So I wanted to get there for two reasons. Number one, number one, subte card, because they seemed very hard to find. And number two, maybe a suitcase. But I'm continuing along here, and I think something was filming as I passed by. And of course someone's working on the old car, on the old van. Hotel Pulitzer. Hopefully one day maybe I'll get one. Apparently that restaurant or that place was tripping. Bit of a smash window there behind the bars. An embassies. Green embassy there. Cafesiol. Oh, this was a, a shop where the guy was grooming the dogs. Palacio Bus. I really like the ceiling there. And I love the shape of this building. I think there was a fire alarm or whatnot and everyone's gathered outside. Just like seeing human life, just like seeing life in general. People congregating, going about their business. She wasn't impressed at my photo. Look at all those motorbikes. Bellini has met a... That's a pretty impressive parking garage building, isn't it? Pachamama, which my mum always spoke about with regards to Bolivian culture. The offering to Mother Earth, which I thought was a good name for that store. Political ants and Mundo de los Animales. Then I'm back at Galerias Pacifico. Why? Because I need to get some Wi Fi to work out what I'm up to. And of course, apparently, I need to take some selfies in front of. Share? Okay. Another reference to Samsung. You know it's in a pattern yet? and the beer coffee store. This couple were performing a tango on the street in Florida. 
And at this point, I decided that I was going to head over to the Reserva Ecológica Constanera Sur, which is a protected natural area. Having a quick cigarette. It was working. What can you do? I like the graffiti on the brackets from that side as well. But that's what Galeria's Pacifico looks like from the side. The Black Cafe. And everyone working away. Everyone working away. There's the Busque Bus, which is a connection between Uruguay and Buenos Aires. There's another Samsung building. There's some construction going along in this business district. And the big roads there. And now I'm embarking on a journey which I didn't realise would take quite so long because there wasn't really any shelter along this way. But there were very, very unique lookout points. And you can see the rich riverside there. The water isn't the best colour, but... As someone taking a selfie, I got inside that face stand and uh, it was a decent enough angle, I thought. <laughs> then I took the selfie and I'm reviewing it now, wondering whether I was right or not. There's me in front of that water, up there on top of that face. I look like a meerkat in that one. public art, which of course people have to graffiti over, because why not? And at that point I decided, well, if someone's going to graffiti all these different miscellaneous things there, I have to do what I have to do. But I continued along walking around these regions and seeing the different ways they had their architecture and they're really cool. Be your best. Small Mister spoke to me. These open air seating areas. And a film set. Bienvenidos a la Reserva Ecológica. I'm going to walk through, but apparently I couldn't get through that. I could poke the camera through, though. See a bit for what it looked like. Now the Reserva Ecológica Constanera Sur, as I say, is a protected natural area in Buenos Aires and covers approximately 350 hectares, one of the largest green spaces in the city, and it was established in 1986. It features diverse ecosystems, including marshes, lagoons, meadows, and forests, and there's over 200 bird species and various mammals, reptiles, and amphibians found within the reserve. What there isn't, though, is a huge amount of shade. It's lovely and lush to look at and there's lots of sort of food trucks and, and such set up along that walk and of course film sets film crews doing what they do hurry up and wait but yeah it's very easy to get a sunburn in that region trust me so there's a look at one of the marshes and then you have your walkway and your football pitch to the side on that kilometer one there right at the beginning Oh, and my chain's out. <laughs> There's the camera attached to the car. Oh, 
Apparently someone wasn't a fan of Mercedes-Benz, and they weren't a fan of that vehicle either. A lot can perish in that heat. And a random taxi snatcher in the middle. Monumento al taxista. And someone sleeping rough. In the shade though. And around that area I had to put up, you know, as in I had to put up a broken English sticker. Just to remind people about what I am promoting. Yeah, it could be an odd one. This is where I reapplied some sunscreen despite the fact that there were all these breaks within the shade. Kept trying to decide what I wanted to eat, going further and further along. Casiosas y lomitas. I saw that guy riding back and forth. He did a really impressive lap. People even graffiti on the side of the viewing platform for the lakes. Definitely a way to attract people with a vibrant red and yellow. These guys were fishing out that lake. Don't know how much they caught or whether they've done that often, but well done, boys. I'm right now in Barrio Rodrigo Bueno. This area was closed off from me entering, so I stuck the camera through. Pretty impressive setup. This is El Monumento a la Prefectura Naval. See, there's that guy doing his laps again. That is Paseo de la Gloria. And of course, the walkway features bronze statues honoring Argentinian sports legends. From Lionel Messi, Gabriela Sabatini and Emmanuel Ginobili. The sculptures were created by Carlos Benavides. Sitting in your cab in the shade. We all need that. Orange is the shade beneath the tree. And I discovered the entrance as I got to the other side of <laughs> the ecological reserve, but it was too hot. At that point, I was just like, yeah, no. El Fuente de las Nereidas, designed by Argentinian sculptor Lola Mora, and it was inaugurated in 1903. It depicts a group of mythical sea nymphs rising from the water. 
Her depiction of the female form caused controversy at the time. It's made of white marble. At this point, I needed some aid, so I got a burger from this place. Uh, and of course, a pomelo paso se torro. Nice bit chilly, simple burger, delicious. And I'm continuing along towards Avenida España. And this reminded me of Prince Harry. I'm not entirely sure who it is, but that's who it reminded me of. I took a little bit of video in this area and the guys reacted in an amusing form. I don't think they wanted to be videoed. Sorry, people. This is where all the trucks were and the truck stops and everyone was refueling in this region. People were having barbecues and I could see things that I'd never seen on these truck stops in terms of there being platforms where they could pull out to barbecue and set up for a problem. And that's the Monument to Spain, Monumento a España, surrounded by trucks and not really thought of that highly, just in the middle of everything. But there's a lot to be said for that and reasons behind it. El Monumento a España is a tribute to the Spanish community in Argentina, features a central column with a statue of a woman representing Spain and is surrounded by sculptures and reliefs. I was tired at this point from walking in the extreme heat, but you know me, I kept going. And around here is Parque Recreativo Navales. And this is basically the Argentinian naval area. So there's Complejo Industrial Naval Argentino. And basically it's all about naval stuff. And there's a procession of truckers just going about the day. Clearly this is a massive truck stop, which I stumbled upon. the Naval Observatory. You keep going through. It was a site I hadn't seen before, so... I guess it was an eye-opener. You know, you don't know much about those worlds. Museo de la Carcova. I sometimes love just looking at the outside of places. But by now you should know me, I'm going to persevere and walk on through. However, I do get distractions and, you know, need to put a sticker down at that point. Sorry, Buenos Aires. But everyone else does it too. Besides, I'm sure they're not still there. If you happen to see those stickers though, when you are Argentinian, that was me. looking building the construction underway there. And of course a casino. Everywhere has to have its fair share of casinos. And now I'm on the other side of the area with the Busquebus region. It was a great place for a little bit of shelter and shade for a little bit. This is where I initially came out of when I entered Argentina. Now I'm back under the underpass that I first saw. I'm looking for Place Islas Malvinas.
everyone with a good sense to relax in the shade. And this is Places Las Malvinas. And I made it there. You can see the flag flying behind me. The garden is hard at work. And beneath the underpass are a lot of crazy broken slabs discarded everywhere and smashed up cars. Dusty cars. And now I'm at the mouth of the art district, Buenos Aires La Plata. Police under the underpass. Seeing the buildings constructed just across the water as I walk through with one destination in mind San Telmo. It was kind of my good midpoint. What is that pose? What are you doing? I'm tired, so I'm snap happy at this point. Look at the lush blues of the sky in that Argentinian statue. Como una uno. In the modern museum. I think that might be Plaza do Rego again, with them tangoing away and me trying to get a photo as I fire on my brow. Merope. back into Mercado de San Telmo. A lot more bustling than it was the other time I was there. My sticker had gone. My sticker had gone. And I think I used up all the ones I brought that day. This guy wasn't a very friendly guy and he's walking around with a bloody drill. People trying to work out where they are. There you go, it's explained. An excess of sugar, excess of the azucares. But I had to get a pomelo rojo drink. And I did actually manage to get a subte card earlier on in the day, so I jumped on the subte at Independencia. Just looking at the silly graffiti. This guy was fantastically interesting. He ran an artisanal ice cream shop. He was always yelling at his staff and never had any customers. So I stole him and I put him into a screenplay. Well, I didn't steal him. But I was inspired by him and developed a character around him for a screenplay. I saw this. I don't think you really need to think too hard about why I wanted to try it. Unfortunately, it didn't live up to its title, but uh, it was champagne in a can, basically. Or sparkling, whatever in a can. Simple dinner, a bit of champagne. And then the news and the news anchor had my mum's name with an A at the end, of course, but still another reminder of a very important person to me. <laughs>